Hi guys, just wanted to come in and do a quick video about highlighters and my favorite highlighters and what highlighters that I use. As I stated in my previous video, I do not have a proper setup as of now. So hopefully by next month, November, I will have a proper setup the way I can do the whole intro and all that. So anyway, let's get right into it because I do have quite a big products to show you. Before I get started, I am wearing Finfatal, Finfatal lipstick from Smashbox and I have Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in Sat Girl on top of that. So let's get started into the highlighters that I wear. Um, no particular order. This is the Bronze Glow from Bobbi Brown. It was a, a limited edition highlighter that came out last Christmas. And to my knowledge, um, I was told that it is exclusive to Sephora. So if you can get that um, where you live, I would definitely recommend it. It is a beautiful highlighter. And I just love it. I have two of these. One for my personal use and one for my kit. Second highlighter is the... Estee Lauder Signature Collection and the color is Bronze Shimmer. This was a limited edition as well, but I ran across an app where you can buy limited editions. It is called Glam Bot. I will put that in the description bar below um, where people sell gently used limited edition products. Um, I have bought a few things from that app and comes in great packaging, good condition. It's not like you know, all gross and used up, so I will check that app out. The second highlighter that I love is the bronze, also from Bobbi Brown. I know I have quite a few Bobbi Brown products. I just love Bobbi Brown's products. Um, and the color is called bronze as well. That was limited edition too, sorry. But you can get that on Glambot as well. Second highlighter I like to use is the Estee Lauder. This was also a limited edition product. You guys are going to kill me. Um, it was from their Topaz collection and I love that. Another one that I love is called Bronze. It is a shimmer brick from Bobbi Brown. Now this she makes all year. Um, I get the most compliments out of this one. Um, for some reason and it's probably like my most subdued highlighter that I own but it is very pretty and I put a little bit on on top of um, another highlighter just to amplify it but it's one of my um, go-to signature highlighter it's bronze shimmer brick you can also use this as eyeshadow as well um, another oldie but goodie I use is the MAC gold deposit um, I really like that. Um, that they, they actually have new packaging now. It has a mirror right here and a little something at the bottom some, someone told me. So that's new packaging. Now the bronze, I'm sorry, the gold deposit can get a little chunky. So I like to best apply it with a fan brush. That way it doesn't go on so heavily you can build it up with a fan brush. So if you do have gold deposit or want to try it, I would definitely use it with a tool. I should have brought you one so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But it's like a fan type brush. Um, another, I wanted to include some drugstore um, highlighters because I feel like drugstore products are more accessible. Not everyone can get to these particular products depending on where they live. So I feel like I want to do include products that are readily available to people. So I actually picked up this today. It is the Milani Baked Bronzer. And the, the sh number, the name of it is called Soleil, Soleil. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm probably slaughtering the name. But it is really pretty. I put it on today and I like it. It reminds me of Gold Deposit, the, the previous bronzer I showed you guys. But it's nice. It's more fine meal than that. So, but I will still use, I will still use a fan brush with this product. That way it doesn't go on so chunky like. So, 
and it says you can use this wet or dry. Um, I actually sprayed my, I actually dipped into the product and sprayed the brush with uh, my e.l.f. makeup mist and set and to make it look more luminous. And I love it. So this was like $10, $10.79. I got it from my local CVS and it looks like it's going to be one of my favorites. I also have the e.l.f. Contour and Highlight Kit in Turks and Caicos. Um, I actually can't use it to contour. It's not dark enough, but I I can still use it like as a faint blush or whatever. And the highlight is is decent, you know. I would say if you're like a medium skin tone, like a NC 42, 45, you can get away with using this as a contour or highlight kit. Nonetheless, it is still really pretty. It's a really pretty bronze type and the highlight. So, let's see. You can use it. You can work with it. Um, another one is, this is also a limited edition one, I'm sorry. It's called Copper Diamond from Bobby Brown as well. Um, and that is it. Um, you got, there, there are some highlighters I do want to try. I'm sorry. I want to try the Makeup Forever Duo Chrome Bronzers. I mean, highlighters, I heard, I heard those are really good. And I also would like to try the Becca, the Topaz. I saw Champagne Pop. I wasn't impressed by the, it looked like it would make me look a little ashy. So I didn't get that one, but I've been looking for the Topaz one from Becca. So I'm always on the hunt for highlights because I love highlighters. I mean, apparently. Um, so yeah, that was the most people really wanted to know what highlighters I use when I um, checked all my Facebook messages. So I thought I'd come in and do a very, very quick video on my favorites as of late. Um, you guys let me know what highlighters you use below because I'm always on the hunt for more and different ones. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and hopefully next month I'll have, you know, my proper setup that where I can do the intro and do um, tutorials, fall looks. Um, you guys let me know if you want to see a tutorial on this green, smoky, purple lip situation I have going. I have going on. Um, I use the YSL Green Shadow Quad, very, very pretty. I have lots of olive, olive green tutorial, um, eyeshadows, and I use the Cranberry Blush from Bobbi Brown. Give me a nice flush cheek. So yeah, you guys let me know if you would like to see an, a tutorial on this exact look. Sunday or maybe sometime next week, I'm filming a video about how, how you can do apply drugstore makeup if you were to leave your makeup when you flew to a different state like let's say if you had to go somewhere really really fast and you forgot your makeup and you need to go to the drugstore I'm going to show you what products that are brown girl friendly and my friend at the urban jungle is going to help me film that so that's my next project so that's going to be fancy fancy because she's the best at filming and editing so yeah um, anyway, I'm rambling. I'll talk forever. So thank you guys for coming by and I catch you. I'll catch you all in my next one. Bye. Mwah.